Yo, ho, ho, Dom Mafia. Welcome to yet another edition of the Dom Mafia Report. As always, your host, Dan Mitchell, giving you yet another report card video after the absolute throttling of the New England Patriots on Monday night. I mean, honestly, I feel like for the past three or four weeks, this video has been the exact same thing. It's just been me looking you guys in the eyes and saying the Buffalo Bills destroyed this team. A's all across the board. And granted, it's most likely what's going to happen today as well. I suppose that there's a couple of things that I can nitpick at, specifically something that went down within the offense, but we will get there. But really, all in all, guys, you cannot tell me that there was much more of a satisfying opportunity than to watch the Buffalo Bills beat down, beat down the team that has been terrorizing us for the better part of a decade plus. We finally ended up getting our revenge. I know we swept them. That first game, I suppose, was a little too close for comfort, but the Buffalo Bills came in and they just opened up a can of whoop ass on the New England Patriots and nothing, nothing made me happier this year in 2020 than to witness that feat. Guys, per usual, this is the report card video. I'm going to be going through how I thought our offense played, how our defense played. And so, but before I dive into it, I need to remind everyone, I get questions all the time of like, Dan, how can I support this channel? Well, the best way to support this channel is simply by watching my videos and smashing the ever living fuck out of that like button. But say you ever want to go the extra mile, the best way to do it is on Patreon. You can find that link living in my description. And then you can also check out my merch, which is shelved right below this video. Without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so the Buffalo Bills offense. Holy shit. I mean, let's just be real with ourselves. I am under the complete impression, and I understand that the fact that the New England Patriots have had several opt-outs. They had injuries. They were missing Gilmore. But their secondary was still damn good. I mean, with... With J.C. Jackson, he had the better part of Diggs for at least the beginning of the game until Diggs absolutely blew up in his face. But that secondary was still very well coached, very talented, and the Buffalo Bills took advantage of them. And so we even had a pretty decent day on the ground. I'm pretty sure that our running backs averaged about 4.7 yards per carry. Zach Moss had the better game, but Devin Singletary still had a couple of flash plays moving forward. But the Buffalo Bills absolutely dominated each and every single facet of this game from the offensive side of the ball. Josh Allen, listen, y'all, I understand that Aaron Rodgers is playing amazing football, but don't be surprised if Josh Allen wins the MVP. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I personally think that now the MVP conversation is between Aaron Rodgers and Josh Allen. I don't even think that Patrick Mahomes has a chance of winning it this year. I think that Aaron Rodgers or Josh Allen have a way better chance of winning it, but his performance was out of his mind. I mean, four touchdown passes, like just spraying it across the field. And three times the Diggs, Stephon Diggs, AFC Player of the Week, Offensive Player of the Week. The dude absolutely was making that secondary look stupid. And what made it even better is, I believe it was Thad Brown, he ended up tweeting it out today, that the top three defenses, as far as allowing passing touchdowns in the entire NFL, Josh Allen has thrown four touchdowns against each and every single one of those teams. And that just so happens to be the Rams, the Dolphins, and the Patriots. Listen, guys, this offense is just clicking on absolute all cylinders. Um, I am a little upset that Cole Beasley was still out playing in the game. And so when he should have been sat, like his colleagues Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs, or otherwise he could have avoided that injury. And so, But apparently, he is considered week to week. Us signing Kenny Stills, I'm not necessarily sure if that's a sign that we might not see Beasley for at least the potential AFC championship, say that we make it that far. But um, I was a little upset about that, that Beasley was still out there. I think that our starters should have been sat a bit sooner as well. But at the end of the day, our offense was absolutely lights out. And I could not be happier, especially against the New England Patriots. So now it comes down to our defense, right? Now, let me tell you what. I love the fact that we were able to go on ahead and hold the Patriots to the amount of points that they put up. And it is absolutely insane how much of a difference it makes when Matt Milano is out on that field. You look at Matt Milano, that guy had a damn game and he just continues to plant the seed in my head and the rest of Bill's Mafia that we need to make him a number one priority this offseason. And so let's just hope that Josh Allen is completely fine with us taking his, his one-year option. 
this year because at the end of the day, Matt Milano just makes this defense an entire different unit. He absolutely balls on this team, and I hope that he retires a bill. Let's be honest with you. He's the best linebacker we have on this team. He was all over the field. Granted, the Patriots passing game has been less than ideal basically this entire season. A lot of that has to do with the fact that Cam Newton essentially has a noodle arm and all he can really do is run. But as far as stopping the pass, I mean, we just made this team look silly. One thing I didn't like is I would probably have to say that we still had a very difficult time stopping the run, right? Especially that first drive and throughout certain spurts of the game, these running backs, their plethora of running backs that they have on the New England squad were just running on us like there was no tomorrow. The only reason that it didn't look worse than it actually was was is because the Buffalo Bills offense was essentially just scoring on a dime. The second that they gained possession, they ran down the field and they scored points. And the New England Patriots really couldn't rely on the run game. So really what we need to do, we need to make sure as a football team that our offense needs to stay red damn hot because several of the opponents that we are most likely about to be playing in the first round of the playoffs have a tremendous, tremendous run game. So we're going to have to ex basically think about that. Um, as far as a grade for the defense, I'm going to have to give it a B plus. And the only reason it's not an A is just because of the amount of yards that we gave up to the run game from the New England Patriots. I forgot to give a grade for the offense, but I mean, it was pretty clear. That's an A-plus right there. And then special teams doing their thing, man. Once again, our special teams has been absolutely ecstatic this year so far. There's been a couple of like bad spots here and there, but so far they've been tremendously consistent. I'm going to also have to go with an A for special teams as well. Um, Don Mafia, there is so much to be excited about this team. Uh, do keep in mind, I am going to be dropping my Miami Dolphins preview video, most likely tomorrow. But the thing is, is, is that uh, it's, it's really hard for me to preview that game because I just don't foresee our starters really going out there and putting in full effort. And so honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we started our backups and we just barely lose by the Dolphins next week. So that video is going to be interesting to make, but say that we do have our starters, I'll go ahead and I'll give you my opinion on that. And so besides that, Dom Mafia, this is an exciting time. We need to start gearing up for the playoffs. Let's hope that we get a favorable opponent going into Wild Card Weekend. And yeah, dude, we'll go from there. Dom Mafia, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition of the Dom Mafia Report. And before I let you go, always remember, let's go Buffalo.